Hi, I'm Bob Hurley. I used to be a production surfboard shaper for a living and it was pretty fun. Guy said, hey, I can't afford to have you make boards. You're gonna ruin them, I can't sell them. And I said, I'll do them for free. And he's like, no, no, I'm, that's still, we gotta pay for the glassing, the blank, it doesn't work. And I said, how about if I, I'll buy the blank and then I'll shape it and I'll give it to you and all you have to do is glass it. And then Aaron Pye one day from Huntington Surf and Sport, he, um, he said, hey man, a lot of guys are riding your boards. I'd like to sell them. He goes, okay, I want you to make me eight Hurley surfboards. How about if I write you a check right now? I'm like, a check for what? He goes, for eight Hurley surfboards. So I had my friend Chuck Schmidt make a Hurley logo for me. This old, we cop copied this old album cover from a band called Trigger. My friend Ron air sprayed them all. And uh, I don't know, they sold pretty good. So that's how Hurley surfboards got its start and uh, made a little bit of a living out of that. You know, last year at the Hurley Pro and even a little preceding it, but actually seeing at the Hurley Pro, um, you know, Kelly Slater and Dane Reynolds decided they wanted to take surfboards a lot shorter. Um, I hadn't shaped a lot in the past five years or so because there's so many great boards. I'd occasionally make one or two for my friends. Uh, I have a little shaping room here at Hurley. But I saw those guys ripping and a little light bulb went off in my head and I said, wow, I know what they're trying to do. Their boards don't actually look like they're working that good, but I can see where they're heading. and. I might have something to contribute. If that's where they're headed, then maybe this rabbit board has some relevance. This old one I made, and you know, we kind of got it out of the rafters, and I, you know, I showed it to my friend Lee Stacy and my son Jeff, and Jeff kind of wrote it a few times actually, and said, "Hey, man, this board is amazing." I got with Lee. I got the rocker template from Matthew at Clark Foam, and he scanned it into the computer for me, and we put three fins on it, and lo and behold, it works pretty darn good. So we started giving them to a few guys, you know, Yaden. Brett Simpson, um, CJ Hobgood has one, Damian Hobgood has one, and Michael Dunphy's done pretty well in some contests on them, and they just work good. And you know, what, what I'm most excited about them is it's at least something different, you know, and I, I think it suits the need that, um, that Kelly and Dane were trying to accomplish, and it's not perfect or anything, but it's more progress. The flip off the tail, bam. Then you're just like carving and sliding and going backwards and stuff, if you surf good.